You just bought or have an oxygen concentrator. But how do you know the percentage of oxygen purity is correct? Certainly if you bought this for fitness or you bought it for a very critical medical need from a reputable dealer, you can rest assured that the percentage of oxygen purity and the flow rate is correct. But how do you know that the flow rate or the oxygen purity doesn't drop over time? The problem is oxygen concentration testers, the percentage of purity and the flow meter combination meters cost five, six, seven hundred dollars. What you see in front of you is a way that you can do the majority of what they do for well under a hundred dollars. Now you see this right here. I haven't opened this yet. This is a very popular series all over the web. This is the low end of the reasonably reputable oxygen purity testers. Now mine showed up with these two parts being used and good thing that's not darn creepy but they're working with me on that I'm not going to focus on that and here is something that you see um, a flow meter on the outside of your concentrator but good to have a you know external way to test it also here i've just taken it out of the package now i don't know if it needs batteries i'm just going to go live with it and I will go to 50%. Okay, good, it doesn't need batteries. It's gonna count down, it should hit close to 21%. Now be aware that this right here is a bulb and a filter, and that is to squeeze and pull oxygen or ambient air into this, but it doesn't need to be. This can get ambient air just itself, and this looks just about right. It's showing the oxygen concentration is 20.7. Give or take, that is correct. Now, when I say give or take, this design, this device, and this video is not designed to get granular between 20.2, 20.3, 20 20.6. There's instructions on how to do that. This is really to find out, is your oxygen concentrator in the high 80s or the low 90s. Give or take a degree or two, that's not what this is about. Certainly you would adjust it manually here, um, and that's what this is designed for, this button right here. This is a calibration button. If this was really low, you adjust it up to 21 because this is a relative device. To hook up this particular oxygen concentrator, you do, do this. You hook up, there's two prongs right here, and you hook it up. This is the sample end with a filter, and then this is the pump end. So I will go to 50% again, and you always give it a chance to do it. And when I do this, it actually is pulling in from here, and then it samples. You're seeing me do this live. Like so many people, I ordered this. I bought a refurbished unit with over 10,000 hours on it. If this has sat uh, here for two and a half months until I've been able to test it and start using it. And one limit of this system is the flow rate. So I'm not going to set the flow rate above 5 liters per minute, even though this is a 10 liter per minute system. We will use my other method to test the flow rate, but we'll see what the oxygen purity level is up to 5 liters. Some people say that this limited oxygen purity tester, you shouldn't push 10 liters a minute through it. So we'll test and see. And then we will use this to verify because when this was tested after it was rebuilt, it was actually pushing 12 liters per minute. We've got a limit of 10 here. We'll test this as this one goes up to 15. First, I'm gonna start this and bring the flow rate down low. Okay, that's probably, nope, too high. That's probably where I'm gonna keep it there. Now, I have taken the filter off because I should be getting clean air out of here. I've hooked that up. I'm gonna set this to 100% because we expect it to be up to 100%. And then I'm going to start it and see where we end up. Again, first time I've ever done this.
There you see I hit as high as 94%. We should start to see it drop now as I've shut it off. So I'm able to sustain 4 liters at 94%. This part I'm making up as I go along. I just ordered this off of Amazon. I'll show the price later, maybe 80 dollars. And I'm going to see how this tracks with the flow rate. All right, you saw that there when the flow meter for the concentrator showed 10, this showed around 12. I am less concerned about the flow, only that I get full flow of 10 by either gauge I'm getting that, and more concerned about the actual oxygen concentration. So this is a second good test. The point is by either measure, I'm getting 10 and above. Thank you.